the use of text data is something that's become just part of our world. We do word searches on the internet and it comes up and it tells us where to find the best restaurants in town, it tells us where to find references and help on the use of medications. This kind of text mining is something that's just going to become more and more part of our lives and it will become part of property casualty insurers' lives. Eighteen months ago, it came to our attention that distracted driving, that is using cell phones, texting cell phones, calling on cell phones, was becoming a large problem in automobile accidents. What we found is that generally there's an underreporting of distracted driving when we look at just the structured data, that is categorical data or numerical data. But there's a considerable amount of information that just doesn't get coded up into those kind of nice buckets or nice categories. Claim adjusters were reporting things on a free form, unstructured format. When we went into the claim notes, we found a, gr a greater incidence of distracted driving, different forms of distracted driving than what we would have found if we just had relied upon the structured data. The real effort that we went into was a way to efficiently break up text notes into phrases that we can then manage as a database in and of itself. What we have done is develop a way that we break up the notes into one, two, and three word phrases, and then we make use of those phrases in our analytics. What's been interesting is that we've been able to demonstrate the power of these analytics using a publicly available data source to show the additional statistical lift that can come from using text data. We've identified three major areas where there are some end benefits. The first one is what we refer to as claim triage. That is just better assignment of claims to the right claim specialist. Whether it be somebody who has experience in drug impaired driving, or whether it's somebody that has experience in cell phone usage of driving, the point is that we get a better assignment of claims to the claim adjuster. The second benefit that we have found is in identifying subrogation or recovery opportunities. Who was wrong in the accident? Who's at fault? Where are the recovery opportunities? And the third thing that we have found that there's a use for this type of information is in underwriting decisions, whether to renew or whether to renew at a, at a different, probably a higher rate. For people who have, who have been in accidents where they may have been using medications or prescriptions uh, wrongly or under um, a drug-impaired condition. This technique is not limited to distracted driving or use of medications, but it can be used with property claims. It can also be used with workplace injuries, that is, whether the slip and fall was due to a wet service or whether it was due to poor lighting. The future holds a great opportunity for property casualty insurers. Generally, they've, they've underused the text data that they have at their disposal, and I think that it is just a matter of time before this becomes more a part of their, their claims processing.